sorry guys, there is no other way I could communicate. Uh, this modem stuff, I'm not used to it. Anyways, we had a number from exercise 9A. And this number was having a road which was horizontally placed. But this road was hinged at A. And then it had a vertical force P. This road was uniform, having a weight 10 G. Then at the hinge, it had a reaction. Because it was hinged, it had a reaction Y, which is the vertical, and the reaction X. Now, if you were to get the resultant of X and Y, that resultant would act here. Is normally what they call R. But now, if you don't want to use R, you use Y and X. So R is the resultant of X squared plus Y squared. Now, with that, if I don't use R, I need to use the horizontal components and the vertical components, whereby the horizontal components are X itself. There is no other horizontal component. So X is zero. Then vertically, we have Y plus P is equal to 10 G Newtons. It means the reaction here is purely Y because the X component is zero. Now these roads were uniform and we are having a length, mass was 10. Mm, the length of the road was unknown. We can assume the length was of length 2L. So that this side is L, even this side is L. <clears throat> so that if I want to find the perpendicular distance, you take the perpendicular from- Excuse me, sir. Please. Excuse me, sir. Mm. Uh, pl please help me tell me the reason why our horizontal component is equal to zero. Okay, because it is the only horizontal force acting. You see it, it is coming up, right. to, up to this way, right? There is no other X component which is counterbalancing it. So the reaction is purely vertical. Otherwise, if this P was at an angle, if P was at an angle like this one, and this was P, eh? then you'd resolve P to the horizontal to give you P cos theta. Okay, sir. Eh? Then now, if there are no other forces, we take moments about A. Here you cannot use Lamy, eh? because if you use Lamy, you will have P and 10 acting along the same line. So we shall have taking moments about A. We are moving the weight towards A. Then we are moving P towards A. P has a perpendicular distance, which is 2L, while 10 has a perpendicular distance, which is just this L. So 10 times L is equal to P times 2L. When I lose, this is 10G. When I lose the L, our P will be equal to 10G. Therefore, P will be equal to 5G Newtons. So if P is 5G, Y is 10G minus 5P, 5G. So Y is equal to 5G Newtons as well. So that is if that situation was handling that number, that kind. There is a, a part B there. Part B has another road, 
which was placed horizontal. Hope someone has texted some people in the group. Yes, teacher. Okay. So if this road is uniform, the way it acts in the middle. This time round, this first P was acting in a different direction, that one. With this at an angle 45. Yes, and Wakise, your hand is up. I don't get where the P is coming from. The P is in the question. That two. The two, the two is here. Oh, okay. The distance from here up to here was L plus L. So it gave us two L. Okay. So even this one, I assume it has, if they don't give you the distances, you assume each side is L, L or X, X. But it's better we use L because X is used here horizontally. Now, according to this uh, road, the reaction here on X horizontal. Yeah, the distance was given. It was given. What was it? I don't have it here. We yes. are saying each of the diagrams shows a uniform road AB of mass 10. Oh, length 4. OK. That means L was 2. Eh? So 2L was 4. It is OK then. So you can always put there the distances, eh? which still would divide. Eh? So let's use the distances here. So this distance was 4. So this is 2. This is 2. OK. So the perpendicular distance of 10 about the hinge is two newtons, two meters. The perpendicular distance of P. Now look at this P. There are two things you can do. You either resolve P to the vertical and you get P sine 45. Then P to the horizontal and get P cos what? But this horizontal originates from the origin, so it will not have a moment. The only moment you'll be having will be about this one. Now, horizontally, Aisha, your hand is up. Just asking where the X facing the other ends. Very good question. If, Aisha, you listen to me. If the X was facing the same direction eh, as P cos 45, yeah, it means all yes, of those forces horizontally will pull away the road. The road will get off the wall. It will get off the hinge. So for it to stay there, hmm, there should be a counterbalancing force X, which is acting inside the wall. Are you getting my mechanics? Yes, thank you. Others, are you okay with that explanation? Yes. Now. Vertically, we have y plus p sine of 45 is equal to 10g. So if I want to take moments, I would rather take moments where we have the greatest number of forces, and that is point A. Remember now, this p cos 45 looks as if it's originating from here. Y originates from there. X originates from A, they have no moment about A. But 10, G has a moment about A, which is of two meters. Then this P, sine 45, will have a moment about A, which is of four meters. And also, P, sine 45 is moving anticlockwise, while this one is moving clockwise. So we shall get 10, G times two is equal to P sine 45 times four perpendicular distance. Therefore, P would give us 20 G over four sine 45. This means you'll get 20 G 
over 4 over root 2 by 4 once by 4 5. So our p becomes 5 root 2 of g newtons. When you press the calculator, I should be able to get the answer. <laughs> now this one can be used, can be found using Lamy. Let me show you another way we can handle this one. Now that we can handle this one is by um, if I left the road as it is hinged here. Okay, with its reaction X inside y vertically with its weight here 10 g now because this is 45 one would prolong this force originate from this one then we draw a line of action through the point of action a so that this becomes a perpendicular distance now if this becomes the perpendicular distance, uh, the force, the perpendicular distance would be this one. Because this is 45, also this would be 45. And this would be four meters, which would be four times 45. So if you're moving this force, it would still be coming this side. Then this one will be coming this side. So you would make this force be P, which is P times 4, sine 45 is equal to 10 G times 2. And you'd still get the same answer as 5 root of 2 G Newtons. Then those of us who want to use LAMI. I'm just going to show you the illustration. You'll try it out. If you to lose Lamy, this is what would happen. You'd have this force as P. Then because of this Y and this X, the resultant reaction would be here. R. So your R would face this way. Then you would prolong these forces backwards and see where they would have been originating from in terms of meeting. So this would act as their center of gravity. Then you'd go and analyze the forces, the angles they make. If this is 45, then the whole of this angle would be 135. This is 45 and they have been divided evenly. This also would be 45. Likewise, this would be 45. Likewise, this would be 135. So an extraction out to find whatever we want. P of R of 10 G would give us 135, 135, 90. But in this case, I would not second people to use LAMI because the question wanted X, Y, X and Y. So after getting P here, you'd go back and get X, which is equal to 5 root 2 G and it's cos of 45. Cos of 45 is 1 over root 2. So 5G is 49 Newtons. Someone wants to get Y, would get it from 10G minus 5 root 2G times 1 over root 2. Sign 45 and cos 45, they are the same. They both give you 1 over root 2. So you will get 5G, which is equal to 49. So both X and Y are the same. 
So I've done that number three ways. Hmm? So it is you to choose from. Then part C, you try it out. Uh, let me do one number from there before I can introduce a ladder. Pick for me one number, part D, E, and F. Which one should I try out? Part F. Part F, eh? Okay. Part F is quite interesting. Hope people have taken screenshots. Yes. Part F says, we have a wall. On this wall, there is a horizontal line, but there is a road which has been hinged. There. When it has been hinged there, the road is uniform. It has 10 G Newtons. All roads were four meters. There is a force, P. First, P was acting at what angle? Ooh, okay. There was a first P pulling it. This angle was 30. Then there was a reaction. Y. And a reaction in the wall X. 